Smoking is a health hazard for anyone, but smoking with diabetes increases your risk of complications. Um, diabetes complications already include things such as strokes, um, circulation problems, heart problems and insulin resistance. Um, and adding smoking on top of that um, increases those risks further. Um, for example, one of the um, major um, complications a lot of type 2 diabetics are um, vulnerable to is cardiovascular problems. We know that having a high level of glucose in the blood for, for too long or, or that's not well controlled can um, affect the arteries in your, your heart. And we also know that smoking can affect the arteries in your heart as well. Um, so doing the two together is obviously not a good combination. Smoking affects every part of your body. Um, tobacco and, and cigarettes contain around about 4,000 different chemicals, things such as tar, carbon monoxide, um, even things such as rat poison and whale vomit. And basically these chemicals can affect all parts of your body. Um, we all know the kind of the risks of smoking with lung cancer, but actually um, it can affect things such as obviously your heart, um, reducing your oxygen levels, um, increasing your risks of strokes, blood clots even affecting things such as your sight, and now they're even linking smoking with um, Alzheimer's as well. Some other effects of smoking include increased blood pressure, increased cholesterol or blood fats, increased risk of erectile dysfunction. This is the ability to gain or maintain an erection. If you've got diabetes, your circulation is at risk anyway simply because you have diabetes. So there's a risk of reduced circulation down to the nerves in the feet, and so that causes problems with the nerve endings. So if somebody smokes, we know that people who smoke who don't have diabetes can have similar problems with damaged circulation down to their feet. And so if you have diabetes and you smoke, then the risk is much, much higher than if you just had one or the other. Come in. Hi, Emma. Hi, Aaron. Hi, have a seat. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good. Yourself? Not too bad, thank you. Yeah. So how's it been going? It's been uh, about three and a half weeks now, hasn't it? Yeah, Since really well. Stopped. Yeah, it's um, really positive, actually, yeah. And how's your diabetes? How's that been? Yeah, really well. All my levels are still the same. My energy levels, I mean, I feel like I'm 16 again, you know. Brilliant. They're so high now compared to what they were a month ago. It's unbelievable. So it's just a positive for me. Fantastic. Stopping smoking if you're a diabetic is going to reduce your risk of um, developing complications. Um, so your risks of having a stroke and a heart attack, um, blood clots are going to be greatly reduced if you, if you quit. And you're also more likely to um, improve your sensitivity to the insulin as well if you, if you quit smoking. For some people they, they are drawn by the financial aspect of, of quitting smoking. I think um, the average pack of cigarettes is now around the £8 mark for 20. So you know, if you're a 20 day smoker, um, if you times that by seven um, and work that out over the cost of a, a month or even a year, then you're talking thousands of pounds which, um, which can be saved. We, we go through patients with a, a sort of a timeline of the health benefits of, of stopping um, and things that kind of happen later on as well as your, your risk of a heart attack after one year is reduced by half and your risk of um, lung cancer is reduced by half after 10 years of not smoking. And also obviously general health benefits from, from stopping whether you're diabetic or not, um, often people say that they have improved uh, sense of smell, improved taste, um, obviously more oxygen going around their, their system, um, more energy. Um, and just kind of generally feeling better in themselves for having stopped. So, really enjoying it at the moment, I must admit. Good. I'm feeling the benefit, let's put it that way. And like you say, reducing your, your risk of complications with your diabetes by the fact that you've, you've given up for, for three and a half weeks now, which is yes, fantastic. Yes, indeed, yeah, that's fantastic. Like I say, with the diabetes, everything's staying the same, so you, know, you might as well take the plunge and give up because it's going to help you in the long run. So basically, if a patient wants to, to stop with our service, um, they can either ask to be referred by their GP or by their health professional, or they can self-refer themselves um, on our free phone telephone number, which is 0800 08 113. When they call that number, they'll be um, contacted by our, our triage team, um, and they will talk to the patient and arrange um, a venue for them to, to see an advisor. We have clinics across the whole of Norfolk, um, in GP surgeries, um, in community settings, um, and we try to have clinics in most sort of market towns so that people don't have to travel too far. Their advisor will support them for 12 weeks um, and will see them as often as they would like to be seen, whether it be weekly or fortnightly. 
um, and the advisor will offer them um, medication and uh, behavioural support. So they'll talk through um, a range of different medications that are available, um, some of which we call nicotine replacement therapy, um, and there is also a tablet medication called Shampix as well. And they will set what's known as the quick date, which is the day that the patient um, chooses for, for stopping smoking complete, completely. So they'll talk about um, what kind of changes they might need to make to their routine, obviously getting rid of any tobacco products so that when they wake up on their quick date, they're waking up um, to a smoke-free environment. So after this uh, first initial session, um, the uh, clinician will um, arrange to have a follow-up appointment with the um, patient, and then they will continue seeing that patient for up to 12 weeks. Um, each time they'll see them, they'll have a, a chat about how things are going, review their medication, um, request some more medication if they need some more, um, check their carbon monoxide reading. And if things aren't going to plan, they'll try and look and work out together why and what needs to change. And if things are, then obviously they'll um, encourage them to, to continue. Smoking doesn't affect your blood glucose levels, but it can affect your long-term risks of developing some of the long-term health problems related to diabetes. So we all know smoking is bad for our health and it's one of the leading causes of preventable death. However, just knowing that doesn't make it easy to give up. A lot of people try to give up on their own without any support, um, but all the research shows that only 3% of people manage to quit by themselves. Coming along to a service such as Smoke Free Norfolk, we know that you're four times more likely to stop if you come to our service for help and support. For more information on stopping smoking with Smoke Free Norfolk, Telephone 0800 0854 113 or email them on smokefreenorfolk at nchc.nhs.uk or visit them on their website at www.smokefreenorfolk.nhs.uk